Space Marines. Numberless enemies surround us, leaving nothing but dead worlds and desolation. Yet, unyielding against the darkness, we are the Emperor's angels. His blade, his shield, forged for a single purpose. To answer the call of war. Sure, this is safe. An evil lies dormant, waiting to be unleashed. Yo, coming? Uh, yeah. The footage was thought to be lost. It now resurfaces. Ah, get off me! For the first time. What is it? Evil comes for all. Christine Gordon film. Check it. Starring Jaime Rivera and Christine Gordon with Linda Castle, Robert Green, and Bonnie Rivera. We gotta get out of this place. We gotta get out of here right now. We gotta go. Dare you enter Murder Mill. And cut. I think we got it. The film is legendary. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into rabid, murderous rage. CIA's got this secret lab called the Larry Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? of war chases the scent, oblivious to the master's leash. True balance lies beyond the edge of a blade. Do not take free will for granted. I know.
trespasser. Have you come to pry the stone from his boot? It matters not. Your fate is sealed by weapon drone. This day, a bloodline. Forever Winter is a four-player sci-fi tactical survival horror shooter that takes place in a future where massive armies are skinning the bones of our once beautiful Earth. You are a scavenger, lovingly referred to as a scav. Within this combat ecosystem, you assume the role of looter and survivor. Trapped between two warring military factions of the future, each with their own objectives. Outgunned undersupplied and constantly under attack. You must rely on cooperation and cunning to survive even minor enemy contact. Situational awareness is key in this world. Stop, look, and listen. Trigger discipline will save your life. A target missed is a bullet wasted, and not every battle is one worth fighting. Only kill what you can loot and get away with. Every time you open fire, you are ringing the dinner bell. Make it worth it. Welcome home, deep down in the guts of the city. Refugees seek shelter here, and they choose your level because you have one of the few things that matter. Water. H2O brings traders, shops, and allied mercenaries that have your six. If you want to survive, you'll need to pick up jobs from the two warring factions. Be smart about the jobs you take. The more a faction controls a sector, the more heavy units they will deploy, and the more dangerous it becomes. The more jobs you do, the more jobs you'll get, and the longer you'll keep everyone alive. No one gets by in this world all on their own, so don't be afraid to help others when you can. Donation stations are made available where high-level vets can share gear with low-level baby scavs. You were in their shoes once, too. Here you can customize your rig, an innovative modular platform that grants you advanced abilities. Pneumatic jump allows you to quickly traverse rough terrain and reach hard-to-get drops. Turrets allow you to shred, at least for a short time. And scanners allow you to scout ahead to plan your route. You want guns? You've got them. Modify and upgrade your firearms for the jobs you take. Always remember, the more gear and ammo you bring in, the less you can carry out. So spec accordingly. Once you're kitted up, it's time to enter the macro city of Lost Angels. Megastructures meant to house millions lie vacant, while automated underground factories churn out war machines by the minute. As the war rages and destroys the world by day, AI-driven machines nicknamed the Night Shift rebuild by night. Recovery units stalk the streets, dragging the wounded and the dead to be harvested for their organs. Learn your surroundings, avoid patrols, and maybe you can make it out alive. Every job has rewards and consequences. The details matter. Make sure to dig into the intel thoroughly before heading out. Missions may include sabotaging faction facilities, collecting debts, and good old-fashioned MDKs. No matter how easy you think the job is, don't get complacent. Things can change at the drop of a casing. If by some chance you find something of real value, you will be hunted. 
and the factions will send bosses that far exceed your fire team's capabilities. Take note of their weaknesses and plan your strategy to take them down. Even fully geared, it will require coordination, teamwork, and a bit of luck. There are only three types of scavs, the fast, the smart, and the dead, so don't be ashamed to retreat if the fighting gets too hot. Remember, there are no heroes here, just a few men and women running around in the dark with half-empty magazines. Forever. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you? A calm and reasonable person. You don't really want war? Do you, Kratos? War is coming! The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. You will die, Kratos of Sparta. Death can have me. When it burns me. Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. We have guests! They're too fast! Look out! Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Objections. I'm a little lamb to the slaughter with you. Are you sure about this course of action? I oh, know. But it's endangering the lives of the world's greatest scientists and messing with a life support system. We're going to have to save them. Nothing else matters. Do not be so hard on yourself, Doctor. We cannot save everyone.
I'm coming. No, no. Please, no. Many great tales are founded upon a humble beginning. That is, if that humble beginning can be found. <laughs> the peaceful land of Mojo is thrown into turmoil by a magical attack from the wicked sorcerer, Humgrump. This is a job for the hero of the land, Jot, the plucky squire. Jot has a knack for defeating wickedness with his trusty blade. And this battle against the horrid Humgrump should prove to be no exception. Foes will be felled as the fair folk of the land cheer Jot on. Except the folk of the land all have one question on their minds. When will this grand new adventure actually, you know, begin? The land was a buzz, the anticipation electric. Jot could not let the people down, and luckily, it seems that he has found an answer to their question. Yes, Jot. That seems to be working. You always have a way with words. Keep it up. And there it is. Our great story has found its beginning. Remember that name, because the whole world's going to know it in three days. What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. Those ain't zombies. What would you call them? Bertitimad, Garance. Welcome back to the world of Greedfall, where adventure and political intrigue await at every turn. Your future is in your hands as you strive to survive amidst greed and corruption. The year is 1231, three years before the events of Greedfall. You're a native of Tirfredi. And as this adventure dawns, it is the eve of the initiation that will see you become a Donegad, a sage, a guardian of your people's knowledge, and a spiritual leader. But just as you are about to complete your sacred initiation, you are abducted by strange warriors from Gakan, the old continent, and thrown into the hull of a monstrous tall ship. After a long and arduous journey at sea, you disembark on the shores of Gakan and discover this foreign world where people have grown distant from nature and now war and conspire amongst themselves. You now seek passage back to your homelands. All the while, you must thwart the plans of the terrible man who kidnapped you in the first place. While Greedfall introduced the enchanted island paradise of Tear Greedfall 2 takes you beyond the island's shores to the old continent of Gakan, 
cradle of the factions that struggle for dominance over Tiafridi. You will explore the crowded cities of Gakan and its various landscapes shaped by the different factions, cultures and traditions that have inhabited them over the centuries. You will have to decide where you stand when you inevitably become embroiled in their internal conflicts. But you will not be alone in your quest. You will quickly meet unique and memorable companions on your journey who may join your group. Discover their stories and make them a part of your group as you explore new realms together. Forge meaningful bonds, or even romances, as you get closer to them and learn more about their background. You are the author of your own legend, Donigad. Choose and master the path of the sage you want to be, whether through diplomacy, bargaining, stealth, or your keen sense of observation. Your tracking vision may reveal clues in your environment. Use your talents, craft new tools, and get help from your companions to increase your odds of success. Of course, the use of force is always an option to adopt as you see fit. Greedfall 2's all-new combat system puts you in control of combat more than ever before. Use the tactical pools at any time to stop the action and plan your group strategy, either on tactical pause or in real time. You can control all the members of your group and give them instructions using action points. So it's up to you to craft the perfect tactic to defeat your enemy. Change your combat style as you progress by drawing from the wide range of skill trees offered. Choose the style that suits you best, whether you're more of a melee fighter who uses traps, a range shooter with support spells, or even a master of poisons. You can even hone and develop your allies' fighting styles as well. Find the best synergies between your companions and overcome your enemies with the party that suits you best. Your destiny is in your own hands. Greedfall 2 is a thrilling RPG that takes you on an unforgettable adventure where your choices shape the future of your group, your people, and the world. The story is yours to write. Don't be good. We're burying fucking bodies, man. People! They don't deserve to end like this. I guess I'll see you after. Hey, we're doing this on our terms. Not this. alive. us lies the great ocean, and beneath us the land. 
The land struggles and yearns to be reborn. The giants, Elthors and humans, they have all deserved their fates, and they did not deserve the land. But not you, Kazimir. You can seize this second chance. Help those around you. Those that seek aid, seek closure. Perform the ritual for them. But are you ready to face even greater dangers than you have already encountered? To cross vast rivers and towering mountains through deep marshes and cursed castles. To endure sorrows and failures. To venture into the miasma and the purest darkness. All that in search of an orca and your own self-loss ritual. Find peace, Casimir. Heal thyself.
as villagers gather to mourn young herbalist Cecilia Pembroke, her unlikely death by mushroom poisoning leaves many puzzled. But such is life in Mirthwood's simulated world, where characters can pass away from disease or other unfortunate circumstances. All inhabitants, including you, depend on the world's shared resources to survive. Extreme weather can cause setbacks, while world events can affect the availability of resources in the world. Your poor crops. Natural supply and demand for goods will affect prices at shops, offering you opportunities to corner the market. Mirthwood's open world cycles through four seasons. Winter brings challenges as the world contends with the lack of new growth. The game's storyteller will generate world events, from raging storms to unique merchants to ominous celestial events. As you build your life in Mirthwood, your path is your own. You can help those in need or steal their last bread chunk. But for today, let us mourn poor Cecilia Pembroke. Yeah. 